So, it's just a little bit past 5.30 a.m. on June 8th, 2021, and today begins my trip to South Hero, Vermont. Oh, my hair is such a mess. I've been planning this trip since uh, last month, and I am quite excited for it to uh, begin today. Okay, now everything is packed, and I am ready for my trip. This trip in total is going to take roughly five hours because I have to go up on Interstate 87 and switch over to Interstate 89 for a little bit and then go on to US 9, which is mostly in Vermont. This is going to be interesting, and I'm going to take you along for this journey, so enjoy. It's not even 7 a.m., and I've already seen an aggressive driver. Ugh, it's too early for this. So I began doing this little tradition for myself that whenever I'm going on some type of road trip, I always go to a Dunkin' Donuts right before it starts so I can get some coffee, some breakfast, you know. And it's just kind of become normal for me. So anytime I pass a Dunkin' Donuts, it's part of my trip. Well, not every single location that I pass, just the first one that I see, you know, for breakfast's sake. All right, on to Vermont. I just got on to Interstate 87, which is the uh, interstate that connects New York City to Montreal, Quebec. But of course, I can't go into Canada because of COVID. Something interesting that I've noticed driving on Interstate 87 is that, that there are so many trucks, but that's not even the funny part. I mean, of course, interstates have trucks, so how else would you get goods from one place to another? But there's so many license plates from Quebec, specifically Quebec. Like, there's a few ones from Tennessee, Ohio, Indiana, a few uh, New Jersey, New York. But like, there's a majority that I've seen that are just Quebec license plates. I guess uh, Quebec truck drivers uh, get a lot of business down here in New York. Temporary stop at a gas station, and now we are on our way again. Now I've got about like three and a half hours until I get to South Hero. But can you blame me when you Welcome to Vermont. What an excellent view that is. So right now I'm driving on Vermont 22A, which is the road that led me off of uh, US Route 4 and is leading me to 7, I think. This road is long, and I mean long. Like I, I've just never seen a uh, residential... This isn't even really a residential street, it's a state route, but I've never seen a state route this long where it just looks like farmland and uh, houses everywhere. <sighs> I have made it. You know, after five hours of driving, it's just so nice to sit in a bed and you know. Okay, so to know where this entire uh, resort falls on the greater U United States Canada landscape, if I were to go an hour and a half north, I would reach Montreal, Quebec. And if I were to go to the next major city besides Burlington, which would be Saratoga Springs, New York, that's almost a three hour drive south. So I'm in a pretty uh, wide open space, all things considered. Oh, hey everybody. Welcome to my crib. All right, so the first thing that you notice when you walk in, you'll see these three hangers on these uh, little hook things right here. And if we walk a little bit further in, you'll notice there is a broom right there. All right, now we are into Casa de Justin. Right here, some 
nice firm bed. I think it's queen size. I'm just going based off of what I actually have at home. And right here we got good old porcelain throne. All right, now we get into the kitchen. Oh boy, look at that. Microwave and coffee maker and some coffee stuff. And a mini fridge. Ooh, nice breeze. Got a nice little window right here. Uh, some checkers right there. And with my hat too. And then a nightstand right here. And then another nice little window that has a bunch of little floral patterns on it. All right. Thank you for coming to my crib and we'll see you soon. Now that I've settled in here at the Anchorage, I think I'm gonna go get something to eat now. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna go up to this wildlife preserve that's actually 10 minutes away from the Canadian border. All right, now we're at the Mrs. Koi Trail. I think I pronounced that correctly. And I'm going to take a walk on their discovery trail. The Mises Kwai Trail wasn't as long as I was expecting it to be, but it was honestly a pretty good walk. I think I'm gonna go get a snack at Roos's Point, New York, which is only a 15 minute drive from this area. Roos's Point also sits on the Canadian border. So you may be wondering, why am I going to all these border towns? Justin, why are you talking to yourself? Are you acting like your audience is actually there when they're not, but they're just watching a YouTube video? That's not the point. So because of COVID, obviously, uh, international travel has been skewed all over the place. And I've been really wanting to explore uh, Northeast United States and I guess you could say Canada, but I'm not really there. There's just something so fascinating about this little portion of the earth. It gets super cold in the winter and then gets super hot in the summer. It's really a jack of all trades being in this little area of the globe. Just enjoying nature all around. It's, it's a pretty fun experience. Although I could do without the, uh, the sweat and the sore feet, that would be a plus, but you know, can't always have what you get. All right, anyways, let's go get a snack at Roos's Point. Something interesting that I did realize is at Roos's Point is the Fort Montgomery uh, historical landmark. This fort was built during the peak of the American Civil War. The fort was used to prevent uh, British soldiers who were coming in from Canada to try and invade the U.S. during the Civil War. And that just so happens to be between New York, Vermont and Quebec, which even though Quebec isn't a state, it's a province, it's still a tri-point. So I'm gonna go to Fort Montgomery to get that tri-point too. This bridge goes between New York and Vermont, and Canada is up that way. So it turns out that Fort Montgomery uh, just has this giant property, but it's for sale. So unfortunately they're not taking visitors, but you know, this was the, closest that I could get to Fort Montgomery. So I guess you could say that I'm right between New York, Vermont, and Quebec. So what town am I in? Roos's Point, New York, Alberg, Vermont, and La Colle, Quebec. So another thing that I decided to do today is go to Derby Line, Vermont, which is home to the Haskell Library and Opera House which is a library that actually sits on the U.S.-Canada border. But unfortunately, the library is closed. But I'm still going to visit the area anyway because it's a really cool thing, and I've seen so many news reports about it, too. You know, one thing I never really expected out of northern Vermont was the amount 
of farms that are surrounding me. And with farms, it also comes manure. So literally every single farm that I've passed smells like dookie. Like huge, giant dookies. Like fields of dookie. Dookies of hazard. So I don't know what happened over the past few minutes, but I guess because of the area that I'm in, I'm getting better cell service. But my phone thinks I'm in Canada right now. Which, no, I'm still in Vermont, but it, it is weird, don't you think? I'm about 10 minutes away from the library. Because of the border closure, Interstate 91 doesn't really have many people on it. Going north or south, it's just empty. Almost there. Okay, I am passing into Derby Lane right now. I am not gonna take a video of outside because there is a customs office and I will probably be uh, grinded to a pulp if the uh, border cops were to uh, see me reporting them, you know. Typical international stuff. Like this bridge that I'm crossing right now it is literally going over the customs office. This direction, that's Canada. Right over here is the US. So I didn't end up really recording much at the library because there was a border patrol and there were people who were talking to each other so I didn't want to interrupt their conversation with my videos. I did get some nice pictures though in two brief videos. Now here's something I haven't seen in a while. Sears. So now we got the Haskell Library and Opera House off my list, so check. So, the day's pretty much done. Although I am going to go see A uh, Quiet Place Part 2 at the closest movie theater I can find around here. Which is like 40 miles away from the Opera House. But you know, Mama didn't raise no wimp. So after that, I'm just gonna head back to the, uh, I'm just gonna head back to the cabin and then see what tomorrow brings me. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I originally planned to go to the library and opera house tomorrow, but I just ended up doing that today. And I still have time to go see a movie, although I might be pretty hungry. Maybe I can get something at the theater. I don't know. I did plan decently for this trip, but I'm, I still have no idea what I'm doing. But like honestly, whoever has an idea of what they're doing. Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, the movie ended, and I got some Chinese food, and now we are heading back. If you ever get the chance to see A Quiet Place Part 2 in theaters, I highly recommend it. It's spooky, but you know, it's fun. This town that I ended up seeing A Quiet Place at is St. Johnsbury. Actually kind of reminds me of a little Montreal, and it's got a saint in the name, which makes it even more... Uh, French Canadian. All right, all showered up. Chinese food, some editing, and then it's off to bed.